This segment brought to you by Bob Schwartz Financial. Values, commitment, transparency. We're visiting with Dan Hayes today. He works for the Corps of Engineers at Canopolis and has for many years and has come to be an expert on the Sherman Ranch, which was in that area. It was developed by Merritt Master Sherman, nearly killed in a ranching operation in Mexico, decided to look for, I don't want to say greener pastures, but uh, certainly more, more lawful pastures, it appears. Absolutely. I think greener pastures for his livestock and then more hospitable location for he and his personnel were certainly uh, attributes that he was looking for as he looked uh, north and west to relocate. He looked at a number of areas. He, he visited Kansas. Um, he visited Colorado. There are reports of him working up through the Dakotas and also visiting California for uh, places where he might reestablish and continue with his vision. But his goals were substantial grass, substantial water. He wanted to be close to rail sources. And he found those here in, in southeast Ellsworth County. Uh, he, he was quite taken with the, the mid-grass prairies uh, or the prevalence of water both from springs and with the Smoky Hill River to the north. And then he had uh, railroad systems on both the southern and northern uh, boundaries of where he chose to establish and do travel. You know, that area had been settled for about 20 years at that point. Uh, somebody else had obviously put together some big chunks of land in the area, or he had an awfully big pocketbook, one or the other. Well, I think both. It appeared to be both. He, he maintained his financial backers that supported him with the Sonora Ranch in Old Mexico. They remained on with him and committed to helping him see through his vision. And he came here to uh, Southeast Ellsworth County. 1896 is when he arrived here. And over the course of two years, 1896 through 1898, he boxed up uh, a number of existing ranches and portions of other ranches that were in the area. He acquired approximately 25,000 acres in that two years uh, time through purchase, and he made a decision to lease the, Bur the Burton Ranch, which was another 10,000 acres located uh, over on Thompson Creek, which would be towards the west end of his holding. The, at its peak, the ranch was contiguous with the exception of approximately a thousand acres, perhaps just slightly less than that, that uh, was an offline track to the uh, southeast um, near the present town of Langley. Was uh, a gentleman who wanted to have his finger on the pulse of the operations of his ranch, and he wanted to make sure that he had um, an understanding that the ranch was being managed in the way that he he desired. So what he did, he um, reviewed his holdings on a map and meticulously broke the, his holdings into 10 subdivisions, which he referred to as divisions. And within each of those divisions, he made it a operating farm in and with the ranch itself. Um, each of the 10 divisions had a number of uh, facilities. They had boarding house, bunk house, uh, mule and horse barns, granaries, corrals, uh, windmills and spring tanks, machinery sheds, large gardens, chicken houses, uh, everything you might think that you would find on an operating farm or ranch in that era and perhaps even now. I'm Bob Swartz and I've devoted the last 43 years to helping Kansans reach their retirement goals and to protect the family farm. At Bob Swartz Financial, we believe everyone should be able to live the retirement they've always dreamed of. Our team of professionals can help you create an efficient strategy using a variety of investment vehicles to help you address your financial needs and your concerns. Bob Swartz Financial values, commitment, and transparency.